Introducing the Stryker Power Load and Power Pro XT, a powered ambulance cot stretcher fastening system. The Power Load lifts and lowers the stretcher in and out of the vehicle and can help reduce spinal loads and risk of cumulative trauma injuries. The device has a maximum safe working load of 395 kilograms, 870 pounds, which includes the weight of the ambulance stretcher, patient and accessory. Power Load with Power Pro XT helps to minimize the risk of patient drops by supporting the stretcher until the wheels are on the ground. There is only one operator required for an unoccupied stretcher and two operators for an occupied stretcher. You should make sure the battery is fully charged before the first use and before training with the equipment. Finally, have a qualified person use the checklist and operation instructions provided in the Operations and Maintenance Manual to check power load functionality. To unload the stretcher, press and hold the red release lever at the foot end of the power load. The power load will raise slightly, indicating that it has been activated and is now supporting the weight of the stretcher. Guide the stretcher out until the head end LED indicators turn solid green, indicating the stretcher is ready to be lowered and taken away from the vehicle. Locate the control panel at the foot end of the stretcher. Press and hold the plus button until the stretcher wheels are on the ground. The first sound you hear is the stretcher legs extending. The second sound is the lifting arms lowering. The lifting arms will continue moving downwards until they are fully lowered. The foot end operator will then press the small red button on the stretcher control panel to unlock the stretcher. Now you can safely remove the Power Pro XT stretcher from the power load system. The LED indicators will flash amber to indicate the stretcher has been disengaged from the power load. You can raise the lifting arms and guide the power load into the vehicle if you need to close the ambulance doors. Loading the stretcher. Raise the lifting arms and guide the power load out until it comes to a complete stop. The LED indicators will flash amber. Guide the stretcher onto the power load until it is in the loading position. Lock the cot into power load. Both the LED indicators will change from flashing amber to solid green. If only one side is engaged with the power load, then readjust your alignment and push forwards again to lock into the loading position. LEDs on both sides need to be solid green. Press and hold the minus button on the stretcher. The first sound that you hear is the arms of the power load raising and taking the weight of the stretcher. The second sound is the stretcher legs retracting. Continue raising the stretcher until it stops at the loading position. Guide the stretcher into the vehicle until it comes to a complete stop. Power load will lower into the locking position automatically. If only one side is engaged with the power load, then readjust your alignment and push forwards again to lock into the loading position. The foot end green light on the stretcher battery will momentarily flash green, signifying that the Power Pro XT smart battery is charging. In this scenario, there is no power to the power load, therefore no LED lights displayed and no lights showing on the side. Unloading the stretcher. Press the red backup release lever at the foot end of the stretcher. Guide the stretcher out of the vehicle until it comes to a stop. One operator needs to support the stretcher at the foot end while the other operator locates the control panel on the side of the power load system. Locate the plus button on the stretcher control panel. Press and hold the plus button to extend the legs of the stretcher until they touch the ground. Firmly press the lifting arms manual release button on the power load control panel to release pressure in the hydraulics. At this point the cot will not drop but the operator should be ready to support the stretcher in case this scenario would happen. You can apply pressure to the lifting arms to help the hydraulic to release while you press the manual release button. Lift the red manual backup release handle on the power load to unlock the stretcher from the power load. 
You can raise the lifting arms and guide the power load into the vehicle if you need to close the ambulance doors. Loading the stretcher. Operators need to line up the stretcher with the safety hook in the vehicle. One operator needs to support the weight. Press and hold the minus button on the control panel of the stretcher to retract the legs. Push the stretcher into the vehicle along the power load transfer until it comes to a complete stop and is locked into position automatically. In this scenario, there is no power to the Power Pro XT stretcher. We are now going to show you how to unload the stretcher in case of battery failure. Press and hold the red release lever at the foot end of power load. The power load will raise slightly, indicating that it has been activated and is now supporting the weight of the stretcher. Guide the stretcher out until the head end LED indicators turn solid green, indicating the stretcher is ready to be lowered and taken away from the vehicle. Locate the red manual override release lever on the stretcher. To extend the stretcher legs, squeeze the red manual override release lever on the stretcher until the legs touch the ground. Locate the control panel on the power load. Press and hold the down arrow button until the lifting arms are completely lowered. The LED lights on the power load are solid green, indicating the stretcher can now be disengaged. Lift the red manual release handle on the back side of the power load to unlock the stretcher from the power load. The LED lights will now flash amber. You can raise the lifting arms and guide the power load into the vehicle if you need to close the ambulance doors. We are going to load the stretcher. Raise the lifting arms and guide the power load out until it comes to a complete stop. The LED indicators will flash amber. Guide the stretcher onto the power load until it is in the loading position. Both the LED indicators will change from flashing amber to solid green. The stretcher will also click and lock into place when this happens. If only one side is engaged with the power load, then readjust your alignment and push forwards again to lock into the loading position. LEDs on both sides need to be solid green. Locate the control panel on the power load. Press and hold the up arrow button to raise the lifting arms of the power load. Locate the red manual override release lever on the stretcher. One operator now needs to squeeze the red manual override release lever on the stretcher. The other operator now manually retracts the stretcher legs fully. Guide the stretcher into the vehicle to the end of the power load transfer until it comes to a complete stop. You will hear a positive click and the power load will lower into the locked position. Make sure that the stretcher is locked into the power load by firmly pulling side to side on the foot end of the stretcher. In this scenario, there is total power loss to stretcher and power load. To unload the stretcher, press and hold the red release lever at the foot end of power load. Guide the stretcher out until it comes to a complete stop while the two operators are supporting the stretcher at all times. Locate the red manual backup release lever on the stretcher. To extend the stretcher legs, squeeze and hold the red manual backup release lever until the legs touch the ground. One operator needs to support the stretcher at the front end, the other operator locates the control panel on the side of the power load system. Firmly press the lifting arms manual backup release button on the power load control panel to release pressure in the hydraulics. You can apply pressure to the lifting arms while you press the manual backup release button to lower the lifting arms. Lift the red manual release handle on the power load to disengage the stretcher. You can raise the lifting arms and guide the power load into the vehicle if you need to close the ambulance doors. Loading the stretcher. Guide the stretcher towards the safety hook in the vehicle. Hook the stretcher onto the safety hook. Locate the manual backup release lever on the stretcher. 
one operator now pulls the manual backup release lever on the stretcher, whilst the other manually retracts the stretcher legs fully. Guide the stretcher into the vehicle until it comes to a complete stop. <laughs>